Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome to episode six of Peaky Booders with me, Bood FM. And as always, thanks for joining me. It's massively appreciated. Make sure you do the good stuff. Hit that thumbs up. Get involved in the comments, which I will catch up on. Honestly, my life is mental at the minute. I'm going to sit down one afternoon and comment back to everyone who's put a comment on my last 25 million videos. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell. You'll never miss anything. I do like the Blues Revolution. I hinted at the end of the last episode after two similar seasons in the Premier League. I want to do something different. It's a computer game. And I'm not going to take it serious. I'm going to have a bit of fun. I'm going to turn it on its head and go crazy. And I didn't think I'd be able to go this crazy. But you know, two years in the Premier League, I think I made 13 changes in my second Premier League season. I've made a complete squad change. I was pretty chuffed with what I was able to do. Trying to get through it all might be a challenge, as they say in France, but we'll try. Let's try, let's do it together. Those of you that are still with me on this one, let's get started. So we're starting episode six at the end of episode five. We're 23 million in the red and we have 58 million to spend. Now, I was really going to go to town and I knew I'd be able to sell quite a lot of these players and make profit on a lot of them because the majority of this squad I've put together the last two years have come in on a free. Now, we managed to, you know, a few players left on a free. Some players we got the right money for. Some players was really buzzing about the value we got for them. Some of us are not the value down. And then you, you start using the intermediary and you're taking a real hit. But I wanted to try and get rid of everyone and I managed to get rid of everyone. And I've also managed to put myself a squad together that I'm very excited about. A couple of wonder kids sprinkled in there. It's young, it's exciting. Um, and I was really, really enjoyed the process. It really invigorized me. I just enjoyed it. I just wanted to play and play. To the squad, you can see those top five players, their contract's coming to an end. A lot of them got a Saudi. And thank God for Saudi, because they do sign quite a lot of my other players. Um, but there's a lot of big wages leaving. Um, so I was really happy with that. I mean, we needed, needed to get rid of Roberto Sanchez on that 135 grand a week. And that is what I wanted to do. Because I forgot to mention, we were spending 2.1, nearly 2.2 million a pound a week. So not only did I want a complete new team, that's what I why not? It's a computer game. Who gives a shit? I'm just going to have some fun. I wanted to get a wage bill down. I wasn't going to put the club in a lot of debt. So let's see. By the 5th of August, my squad's in place. And, you know, my initial intention was maybe a 20 man squad. Just do the best I could with versatile players if possible. I've been scouting a lot of the last few years. It was time to act on that. Obviously, I needed to. It's like playing chess. You know, you're playing, you're moving them about. I was constantly looking, making notes, saying, right, I've got them, them, them. You're all going there, got to go. That'll fit that much wages. Right, I can go for you, you and you. I've got this much wage. And just, I was just keep swapping and switching and you just work your way through it. Selling, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying. And then until I got to the end and I had to use a few loans to just tweak the squad a little bit, but it was brilliant. And I, I did more than I thought I could ever do. Um, and look at that wage bill. That's nearly a million quid off it. Obviously transfers carry over, but I hit that ground running. You can see, getting good money for players. I mean, where's Elise? I know he's only 26 and he's brilliant. He was free. Sold him a year later, 65 million. Started to go, some of us to pay out right for, as you can see, some have managed to stretch them finances out. And then carrying it over, more. Got some good money for some players, players leaving. Got some good values on that. And then just signing, signing, signing from all over, really. A lot of English players, a lot of British players, Again, paying out fees, decent fees. And what my plan was, really, is there's a lot of players now this fine to the game that are in under-21 teams that aren't playing and want to play. So it was easy, really. It was easier than I thought. So we're going to go through the squad as quick as we can. So here it is, and look at the potential. Look at the potential. Love it. And look at the age of the squad now. We've 17 all the way to 21. So we'll just bash through it quick so you can at least get to look at each one. We've got Dean Stokes, promoted from the youth team. Third choice goalkeeper. Kevin Brown, who from Chelsea was getting loaned out, wasn't playing. He's got a battle on his hands though. Because I found myself a young Wunderkey goalkeeper out in Argentina. He's maybe not as good on paper, but we'll see. A Wunderkey goalkeeper. I love them. Let's rattle through this defence down with Andrew Conway Lee, who we got from Newcastle. He was loaned out last year. He wants to play football. Maybe he will. Kenny Connor from Crystal Palace. Northern Irish centre back. Good player. Scott McKellar from Hibs. Wonder Kid, and he was a Wonder Kid, and some of these Wonder Kids you're going to see weren't Wonder Kids until they came. I don't know how it works. I don't really care. I don't really pay too much attention to that. Carl's Calvo, he costs a good chunk of change from Manchester City. Andrea Campisi, he's one of our own, promoted from the youth team to flesh out the team, the squad, you know what I mean? Tamarick Hamill. 
Vroom Renz, I've got two players. Vroom Renz. Good little uh, football factory down there in France. Lee Smith. Decent. From Celtic. 17 years old. Already got seven caps. Ethan McDowell. Um, he was from Southampton. He'd been loaned at Forest last season. Harry Mass for Manchester United. He's just been getting shipped out on loan. Last two years at least. Michael Bolton. Not the singer. The football player. My wife loves Michael Bolton. Whenever she's doing the ironing or any of her work in house and she's got Alexa playing. You see the Michael Bolton, Whitney Houston, Brian Adams or Diana Ross. Endlessly. We've still got Mr. Donovan at this moment. I do end up loaning him out. I did try and sell him, but for some reason, couldn't. Don't know why. Got rid of everyone else. John L. Estrange, 18 year old Englishman from Manchester City. Jordan Renou, the other geezer from Rennes, actually went to Rennes last year. Beautiful place, actually. They've still got CNA. If you're English or British, do you remember CNA, the shopping store? It only finished here. Went into Rennes Town Centre, City Centre, and I was like, CNA? Weirded me out. David Fricks, 19 year old German, he's on loan for Manchester City. Sir Anthony Clark, a new from Everton, decent ish player. Tony Garvey from Sunderland, and that's another thing I did. I'm not, you know, I was just scouting young players, but the championship, and there's a lot of good players down there. From teams who have either just gone down or gone down or on the brink of big clubs down there, and players who won't play in the Premier League, and uh, Tony's one of them. I got a guy from, sure got a guy from Wolves. David Burke from Manchester United. Again, these guys have just been getting loaned out, and they're at a good age now. They're ready. They're ready. And Burke, I call him, it was not a wonder kid when I signed him. I know that for a fact. This one is. I'm loving it. I think he looks awesome already at 20 years old. Um, he's already had a stint in England with Charlton a while back on loan. Only cost me around 16 million in a minimum fee. Belgium is a cracking league for some players. Sometimes you find some gems. Enric Ayats, and yes, he's the geezer from Wolves. Can play on the right, can play up front, and he's going to do both. Pedro Enrique Gross, who's a Brazilian, but I did actually buy from a Mexican team for a minimum fee. Decent player. Uh, Masato Tanebe, again, he was not a wonder kid. I just signed him because he was all right at the time. He only cost 3.4 million, I think. He was my cheapest purchase, or one of them. Um, I saw him for shirt sales, really. Let's get some of that East Asian love, but apparently he's a wonder kid now. <laughs> Big sign in this, really happy with this one. Um, I'm sure he'd be requested to leave. He obviously wants to play more. He's played a little bit in dribs and drabs over the last four to five years. Time for him to step up. So as you know, the money was starting to get a bit low. It was getting towards the end, but I felt like I needed a bit of help up top. So we've loaned this lad in from Liverpool, who again is a wonder kid and a good player. And that's it. Young, exciting, I don't give a shit squad. I, I like young teams. If you've watched me for a while, you know that. I, I think, I know it's a game, but I think they play without fear. It, I get excited by it because of the promise and the prospects of it. I mean, I've enjoyed the last two years putting together teams on freeze. And then obviously I bought a few players in there for big money. It's not really working. It's flat. I was getting a bit, oh, I feel like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall. We finished, what, ninth, I think, both years, but I felt like I'd rather put a team like this together. I couldn't believe I could put a team like this together. And um, it's a game, who cares? You won't do it in real life, but it's not real life. And I just thought, I'd be excited. I was excited doing it, and I knew I'd be excited and re-energised playing it, and I, that's exactly what I was, and it was fun. There's ups, there's downs, and there could be special things happening. But what do the bookies think? Well, they don't really fancy us, but I don't care. We don't care. It's a blues revolution. They're young, they're exciting, and they've got a lot to prove. They've been getting loaned out by these other big so-called big clubs. It's time for them to prove what they are. And we started that by doing what I'd love the most, going to America in the summer. So we had a training camp there, so we played a few games during training camp, and then I organised a tour after that and stayed out in the States. A bit sketchy at first, but saw a lot of promise. Got a team we could beat in Nottingham Forest, get the ball rolling, hopefully. And I just wanted to get through it and I was excited to get through it. Will you be excited by the end of it though? Let's jump forward. Well, by the 1st of Jan, we were 12, but like I said, I'd rather go backwards in the league or put this kind of team together that could potentially grow and do special things. But we've won seven, drawn four, lost nine, but there's something about it. I don't know if it's in my mind. It's just way more enjoyable to be a part of. Now, I did want to hit the ground running, but we drew our first two games and we got beat. But then I went on a four-match winning streak, right? Which is great. And then recently, we've kind of gone to what? To form young team, but in close games against City, Norwich, um, Burnley, even though we won was close. Arsenal, we drew with. Then we got spanked off Liverpool, but it's close against Brighton. It was close against Chelsea. We should have beat Ipswich. Um, we lost the derby at home. 
which would be bad, wouldn't it? That would be bad. Uh, but then, you know, 1 0 there, beat Everton, 2 1 against Newcastle. There's a, there's, there's a lot of close moments, but they're only young. They're so freaking young. They could become something special. Maybe. Just maybe. But things can always just turn around sometimes. This is the squad, and, you know, a lot of these players have come here thinking they will start, so you're going to piss some people off. It's a learning curve as well. You look, you're working out who you like, who you don't like. You get injuries and so on. You see who works in your style. It, they're, they're so versatile as well. I feel like I've always got an option with an injury or suspension or someone can always come in. I can always move things around. Players can go all over the front, all in the middle, all over defence. And they're a team that could really grow, I think, into something. And then, you know, some of them don't work out. Maybe sell them on, make your money back because they're young. I, it's good. Um, just hope we don't end up get losing points. <laughs> Some kind of financial administration because that would be shit. We're jumping back in on the 21st of Feb only because this was a special day and we are actually 7th. Like I said, sometimes things can turn around. We just need a Christmas break. But look at this. Look at that. On the first, we drew again with Forest. We got spanks off United and things weren't looking great. But then we beat Brentford. I beat Bournemouth. I beat Leeds. I beat Southampton. A good run of games against beatable teams and we actually did it. Then I beat Manchester City. That is such a confidence booster and we beat Norwich, so what a run we're on. We're not jumping back in for this either, but let's go through it quickly. I was going for it as well in the Cups. Yeah, I'm just like, who gives a shit, it's a computer game, I'm sick of it. Let's just go for it, whatever, and have fun with this exciting young team. Um, so obviously Norwich, Villa, we beat them, which is great on penalties, beat West Ham. And then got spanked off United again. But then, reason I saved it on the 21st of Feb, because on the 21st of Feb, we beat Manchester United in the FA Cup fifth round, putting us into the quarterfinals. That's why I saved it, because I'd just beaten United. That lad from Liverpool, eh? Never, we might get him, you never know. Um, what an achievement. It's now the 1st of April, and we're in seventh, and at this moment in time, a European spot. I thought we'd maybe go back a little bit, because they're young, and you always think that, even though I believe in young teams, I think that you always get more out of them. And at the minute, at this moment in time, that is brilliant. Look at the teams above us. Brighton, fair enough, but... Hey, look where Manchester City are, by the way. That is a joy to see. Now, at this stage, we'd play Burnley, beat them, then a beat Arsenal. 4-1, I'm feeling invincible. I'm like, is this it? We're going to end up top four. No one can beat us. And then I got beat off uh, yeah, Evan Ferguson. And the Brighton game. So, you know, come back down to reality. Now, of course, it's the 50 best wonder kids in football uh, list around this time. And I was really hoping we'd have enough money to maybe get a few, but I thought, let's not. But what I have done is make notes of them all because there's players like him and him and other players who, who we might be able to get in the summer if I do actually have any money. The great thing is I've got a few on the list. Gavi. Hey Clark, I'm going to call him an Arenu. Onwards and upwards for the Blues. Average rating wise, uh, Bancroft. I was hoping he'd come in and I think he's been great. He's a young lad. He's still he's got me a goal every other game. I'm happy with that. He's young, he's English, he's good. Um, obviously some players are starting to get unhappy. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just feel like every game we go out, we can do summer. And even when we get beat, we still got summer about them. They've just, they're so much more exciting than the previous two squads I've had over the last two years in the Premier League. So much more fun. Although the money, I mean, we're going to get some money at the end of the end. I probably will have to sell one or two of them. But hopefully if I make a profit, that'll be fine. And I'll just spend it again. If I do another one, I don't I don't care. It's a game, innit? I'm going to just have some fun with this now and turn it around. He said, we've done it this season, but the season ain't over. Now this is my last save file and it's only the 14th of April, which might tell you summer. And we are eight at the minute. We're battling. But I just feel like maybe we need to share a bit more. I'm hoping I can fit it all in. In the Premier League, I played another two games. We beat Ipswich and then I've been beaten by Chelsea. But don't forget the FA Cup. We were quite lucky and we drew a championship team, Wolves, and a rival in the quarterfinals. And we destroyed them. Teeing up my friend Lee Masters, beloved Spurs, in the semi final. We're going to have a bit of a live. Come here. Quick one, cheeky one, because if we can win it. FA Cup final. 
Welcome to Wembley Stadium. We're here at Wembley, going to play Spurs. We've got Mason Mount and Vinicius Jr. Holy shit, they've got a great side there, to be fair. We're up against it. Everyone's pretty fit apart from Bancroft, my star man, but it's a good team there still. And they can produce. They just want to do, do themselves proud. So let's go, let's see. I mean, that United game was a battle, but they were, they were going for it. They're not scared one bit. Um, we nicked a goal and then we got... It's just one of them, I think kind of FM'd them really. Because United have dicked me in the league. They dicked me in the Caribbean Cup. They battered me. And um, to beat them, I mean to beat City, we battered Arsenal in the league. There's more, there's more about this team than them other ones. Good players in the last two squads with really good pros, experienced players. Um, but I was going about it wrong. But sometimes you have to get deep into a save before you can do what you really want to do, what you're passionate about. And this is what I'm passionate about young regen teams Jesus I thought we were going to do something then um, they fuck it they're shaky they're shaky and he's a class player can't find his man though he's nicked oh I thought he nicked it back but we've proven we can go toe to toe and that's all I want them to do just not be shit and flat and do nothing as long as they do stuff I mean oh god I can't believe how Spurs got him how have Spurs got him Oh, 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 Sars, Vinius Jr. in the post. Oh, we, right. come on, boys. <laughs> Playing with fire now, lads. Mason Mount. What's happened to him? Come United, gone dog shit in real life. Watched England last night, third game. If you're English, wow, we are crap, aren't we? In the worst group I've ever seen in Euros. Now we, and we've topped it somehow. As soon as we've played anyone good, we're done. But we've created nothing. We've created nothing. I thought we'd have a little bit more about us. And we, we are probably lucky that it's nil-nil at half time, and it is half time. Well, football is a funny old game, isn't it? But I've made a couple of changes. Um, Anthony Clark's come on in the middle. He's on the ball now. And I've put a Yats, the guy from Wolves, I got from Wolves up top. Just because Bancroft was 100% was anyway to start. Maybe just some fresh, really fresh legs up front might make the difference. The two substitutes connect and score. Manager managerial. Genius! Don't you love it when that happens, eh? That's why you don't simulate. Did you do stuff like that? Feel like we may have poked the bear now. I'll do that because my assistant manager's a fucking baller. They're going to be like, oh, you cheeky bastards. And it's going to be 4 1. But who cares? And just over 20 minutes to go, Mr. Shiren, style right winger, he's a good player. He's not played great in this game. He's knackered and he wants to make a change. I'll do that, actually. I was just thinking of that myself. Oh, wait. I hate when it does that. Me and my assistant. On the same wavelength. Telepathic. Can, can this happen? Can we get to an FA Cup final together? Hey, this is why it's exciting when you do stuff like this. It gets you excited again, doesn't it? Oh no, no, piss off, Spurs. God, God boys. Oh, I love it. We're, we're FM in Spurs like we FM Man United. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's them again. Piss off. Piss off. Dude, Madison. I mean, look at the players they've got. They can't score though. They're throwing everything at it. They're throwing everything at it. I've done nothing because we've won. We've just done it. I can't believe we've done it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They've just proven to exactly what I was trying to explain now that we can destroy some teams, but then some of these big games, even when we're, we've not got that quality, that youth, I think, just gives them something. It's done, I've done it so many times over the years. And I just think that, that is a proof in the pudding. And we will be playing Arsenal, who just spanked City, City on the decline. Seeing up another live com, got to fit that in. I'm going to do my bloody best. It's the FA Cup final, and yes, I went. Look, it is in, so far, I lost to explain the reason for attending the game. Because I play the freaking winner in the final, you utter moron. Stuff like that is stupid. God, I'm excited. Now, I've got the Derby, Spurs, again. Everton and Newcastle. I'm not going to make a brew, get through them, and I'll come back for the Cup final. Well, since that epic FA Cup semi-final... Things have been shit, apart from the fact we beat Aston Villa away, got a bit of revenge, 3-0. And then got beat off Spurs 1-0, they got their revenge. And a close game against Everton, and then Newcastle was shit. So our form has dipped. Three defeats. We're going into an FA Cup final against Arsenal, who we have beaten. Or one last time we played, but I'm not holding up much hope. And have you seen who is the manager of Aston Villa? They're doomed. So the Premier League's over. Leeds, Norwich and Ipswich have gone down. Aston Villa survived again. They are teetering. Teetering. We're eight. So we've technically improved. I fucking ripped the squad to pieces. I've built a whole new fresh philosophy, youth 
and I've had a ton of fun. The most fun I've had in this entire series this season. I'm winning an FA Cup final, which is insane. This is the squad arranged by average rating. Uh, Alex Reid, the guy I got from Bolton, I think. Um, and I was at the top, but he's injured anyway. He's only played a little tidgy a little bit. It's all about these lads. Again, can they just show up on the biggest stage? When the chips are down, when there's something to win, it would be special. So let's get into it. Welcome back to Wembley. We're here against Arsenal. We've still got Jesus, Havertz. They've got a great team. Saka, Rice, Odegaard. How are we bad at 4-1? I will never know. But we did. Can we do it again? Win or lose, I don't care. This is very special, this achievement. And things could be on the up for the Blues. You never know. Played me games. Um, and in between each game, I go on holiday to speed through it. But he's done the dishwasher. I already put the washing on. I've pegged that out. I've made myself a second brew. Coffee, one sugar. I used to have three sugars, me. Up until I was about 25. Something like that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, cut down to one because my fat get. So I'm all alone at the minute. Um, the wife's away for two days in Croydon, London. So I'm working and I've got the boys at night, which is always a challenge on your own. Um, so obviously you've got to get some jobs done, haven't you? I just want to make sure, because it's so hot at the minute. It's always great, in it? Getting your washing out. It makes you feel old. But it dries dead quick and it just feels better when you put it on. Well done, Wanley. Um, so I want to make sure, so you're always getting the good books of the wife. If she comes back and the dish, what, there's no dishes, there's nothing in the laundry basket, the house is remotely tidy. We've given up on a lot of that. Go on. Because we've got two young kids. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Help. No, no. We can't be having stuff like that. We need that. We need them goals. Checking goal review is going to award it, aren't you, mate? Yeah. If I knew any Birmingham City songs, I'd be singing them. Wow. Wow. I mean, they've got players. Are they getting on a bit? Saka's 27. Declan Rice is what? 30. Got Odegaard, who's forever 12. They're going to come out as we poke the bear. Can they do what Spurs couldn't? Ooh. Bloody hell, they're keeping this in though. Keeping it in, get on, get on him a mass. And nothing's happened since then. The time has just been ticking, just been here. Sipping me brew. And it's nearly our time, I'll keep it this, keep it this way. I don't care, because what we're winning. I know we lost our last three games, but even parts of them games, you still think like we can score, we can do all right. And we're not always on the back foot with no possession or chances. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just, can I just leave it there? Just, should we just finish it here? I told him I was happy and to keep it open. I got all greens. Nothing really to say. Because we're not supposed to win. We're not supposed to win. But if I could think of these young lads winning a major trophy. The first season together. And this, I believe in that. You get a young team together, they grow together. It's had to play together. They get better and better together. I've done it countless times. I just couldn't believe I could get some of the players I've got and so many English I've not really thought about doing that before being cheeky with certain transfers looking for those players in the under 20s 21s you've got a couple of years left on the deal and just saying look how about him putting the feelers out there with agents and stuff and it really worked I've had so much fun and what the hell is this game about nothing's happening but I feel like now if I make a change oh shit Oh, wait, 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 wait. We could be saved. We could be saved. And if we do, I'm going super fucking defensive and I'm making changes. Oh, no. Do I just keep it? I'm gambling. And then I got full freshness. Well then, Arsenal, you bastards. Probably playing a bit better, but it's time to mix this up. We have absolutely nothing to lose. I've made six changes. Not changed my striker, but I brought on two new wingers. One is world class. A new um, a striker who can play behind him anyway. Um, new central midfield and a new centre half. And we've switched to the attacking formation, which might bite us in the ass. But like I said, I've got fuck all to lose here. Let's just go for it. Go, go, go. Stop passing backwards. Stop sitting back like in guy in Southgate in England. And let's take a risk in life. And here he is. Saved the big man, number seven. But, you know, he's not fully back. Not fully with it. Welcome out, McKellar. Finds what I knew. Finds in just about. Lone to out. Can they team up again? No, but he's caught through. And it's 2-1. Enrique Yats. 
The striker who was stuck behind the striker. It worked. Oh my god. I love Birmingham City. Right now, I love, but I know I don't. Here's Arsenal, Odegaard again. Can they nick it again? And they have. The, the referee, right? It can't be three for three, ref. One has to be disallowed, ref. Yeah. Should I sit back? Should I sit back? I don't know. That's, I was, I'm a big believer. Going forward is the best form of defence. Right, come on, 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 come on. Oh, you have witnessed something very special. North London, who are you? Who are you? Spurs and Arsenal, we've somehow, somehow done that. I can't. What a, what a fucking season. Raise your cup, boys. Come on, hurry up. Hey, we're in Europe. I was going to win this in episode six. I was going to go crazy, which I did. And then I didn't know how it turned out. I was just going to have some fun, go, on, go out having fun. And I've somehow managed to pull off an FA Cup win and getting this young team into Europe. We've got to go again, haven't we? We've got to have a crack. We've got to have at least one more episode, haven't we? Get that bank balance now. So if I, could, if I sell a couple of the young ones that, you know, weren't playing too much, they've got to be clever with a squad quarter here, aren't they? I? Need four homegrowns. I've got a couple. Lots of homegrown nationals, anyway. Make sure we've got the European squad together. Maybe see if we can sign some more youth players, which I should be able to. I know we'll be able to. Could have a good season next year. But well, that season is probably one of the best I've ever played. And if I had the smallest doubt about putting young teams together, which I didn't, if I had a little bit, it's gone out the window. Right out the window. Well, there you go. What an episode. What a ride. And that turned out amazing. <laughs> Buzzing. I couldn't wait to share the episode with you. And then obviously the end of it that we shared together was special. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for the ones that are sticking with it. We will definitely do at least one more episode seven. I'll try and get it out of the weekend now because I can't wait to get playing. So make sure you do the good stuff. Hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell and you won't miss it, will you? I've still got another fucking thing I want to do. I've got a great series coming up with a great team that you might not have heard of. You might have heard of. Great history, great rebuild. And I've got some random experiment, but I'm all about the Birmingham again. Thank you anyway. I'm happy. Hope you're happy. Stay safe, my friend. I'll see you next time.